300 pounds, you, you forget that they can do that. They're so athletic. Yeah, and I love how it all came together. He won the leverage battle at the line of scrimmage. Then he won the battle with his hands to shed the blocker. How about the agility to get into the backfield and run him down? And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense they probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. On first down, Freeman. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. The way he roared up and made that play, that tells me that he spent a lot of time in the film room analyzing what this offense does, and he saw something that convinced him he didn't have to worry about the pass. He could just go right now and make a play. I think if you're the offensive team, you better file that away a little bit. Maybe think about some play action down the road. You might catch him deep. Let's make these babies cry. Here's the second year back from Southern Miss, Edo Smith. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. midfield now here's Ryan it's caught Jones and he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stops made at the Texans 39 I don't care who you put on him he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws yeah right now you're right they're in man-to-man -man. maybe need some safety help I would say that'd be a good idea double team him somehow I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run with a fullback, Smith. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Second down, it's Freeman, and he'll go down at the 28. Four yards, the pickup, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL, and all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They run, Devontae Freeman. Barkevius Mingo in that time on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 25 on second down, Ryan, he completes it to Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back.
This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. Here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Play clock down to three, and we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Another shot here from the two as they come up on third and goal. On the run, it's Smith. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He lost two, and it brings up four. Nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. And Bryant's kick is good. And that's going to make this a 16 nothing ball game. That drive just seemed to go for an eternity. I could kind of hear our sponsor saying, hey, we need to get our product pushed here. But then it ends in a field goal. Yeah, how about that? Not enough time for product placement, but plenty of time to get three points out of the deal. I know that the guys on defense, though, they wanted to get those products out there. They wanted to stop that drive, just were unable to do so. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. A reminder about Sunday night football later tonight. It's a rematch from the divisional round last year. Colts and Chiefs from Arrowhead. Then tomorrow on Monday night, the Browns and 49ers from Levi's Stadium. Well, the Browns already playing their third primetime game in the season's first five weeks. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Now it's Watson, the bootleg. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll give to Hyde out of the gun. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. Brenda, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. But the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job with him holding on after absorbing that big hit. 
Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Watson. That's complete to his tight end, Paulson. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And, Barton, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Pass complete from Watson to Aikens. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Now Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. Oh, he sheds himself free. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that trims the lead down to nine. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Matt Ryan in the offense heading back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Ryan. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. From the gun, it's Ryan. This is brought in by Hardy. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Justin Hardy's sort of an undersized guy at 5'10", but he runs physical and he runs tough. In fact, his teammates call him the Wolf because of his special teams play. How about that play right there? Nice job picking up the first down. Ryan now 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. Showing it, showing it. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Now it's Ryan. Caught by Sanu. 23 yards on the play. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? 
Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe